there, it's Samantha, and it is the Booktubeathon, and I am sitting weirdly, but you know what? It's fine. So it's currently day one, and it is 10:40 a.m. I have reading updates though, because this morning I well actually yesterday I started reading Floored, which was supposed to be my first read of the readathon. If you watch my TBR, you will know this. But the first challenge was to flip a coin to decide your first read, and I was choosing between Floored and Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz, and Floored ended up winning. So, I started reading it a little bit yesterday because it was supposed to be my first read at the readathon, but it didn't mean I had to start it during the readathon. So I started reading it yesterday just out of curiosity, and then this morning I've been reading a little bit more of it, and I've decided to DNF that book for now. I might pick it up again a little bit later on in the month because I did get it for review, but at this point in time I'm just really really bored by the book and I feel like if I push myself to read it I'm gonna get into a reading slump. So instead I'm going to just DNF that book for now. I'm not gonna try and read it during the readathon unless I feel like it later on in the week but I'm going to prioritize the other books on my TBR instead. So now I have to do that again um, to choose a different book off of my TBR. And I'm really in the mood for a contemporary book so I'm gonna be choosing between Every Day by David Levithan and Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. So let's flip that coin. I'm gonna use the app again or well it's not an app it's just Google because I I'm not good at flipping coins. This is gonna be heads out and this is gonna be tails and let's flip the coin. And it's Tales, which is just perfect. So I'm going to start off with Alex Approximately, which I'm so excited to read. I've been wanting to read this since it arrived at my house, which is a couple weeks ago. But first of all, I need to tidy my room because it's a bit of a mess. I need to change my sheets and stuff. So I am going to do that this morning whilst I watch an episode of That 70 Show. And then I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to sit down and try and read all of Alex Approximately today. And then I'm hopefully going to go see Mamma Mia Here We Go Again with my mom today because I still haven't seen it yet. It only came out in the UK on the 20th of July so it hasn't been out that long. But yeah, hopefully we're going to see that today. But I'm going to go for now and I will talk to you later on. There's been a slight change of plans because we were supposed to go and see Mamma Mia later on and I didn't realize that we had people coming for dinner tonight. So I just sat down, I made myself a big cup of tea, I was all excited to read Alex Approximately and then mom calls and goes, oh actually we're going to go see the one o'clock showing and it's currently 10 to 1 and my lunch is in the oven. I have this huge cup of tea but I'm gonna have to abandon the tea because we're gonna go watch Mamma Mia. But I did start reading Alex approximately. It's good so far. I will let you know how Mamma Mia is. Hello there, good morning. It is day two of the Booktubeathon. I'm sorry, I didn't update you again yesterday because uh, I'm the worst. But I went to go see Mamma Mia 2 with my mom. It was really good, but not as good as the first one, in my opinion. However, it did make me want to move to Greece and fall in love. But yeah, it was a really fun movie. And then we had people over for dinner, so I didn't get that much reading done yesterday, but I did take part in a reading sprint that was hosted. So I probably read for like two hours. Like I probably sprinted for like two hours, so I don't know how much reading, like how much action time I spent reading and then I read a little bit afterwards but I also watched some that 70 show just because I like watching that 70 show so yeah yesterday I ended up reading I read a decent chunk of this which is Alex approximately I'm on to page 123 so I read 123 pages of this and I also read 25 pages of floored but I already spoke about how I'm not picking that one up again at the moment. So I read about 150 pages roughly today. I'm going to dedicate so much time to reading. Obviously my priority is to finish Alex and Alex approximately first. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very cute. So I'm going to finish that. And then I think I might read the first story of this. There are five short stories in this, five little novellas. So I might pick up the first story of this and then maybe this for something humorous. So my plan is to finish two books today and then get started on this one too. I don't know if that's going to happen though. I will update you later on. I finished my first book of the readathon. Woo. I'm not sure what I'm gonna rate this yet. I'm thinking five stars but maybe 4.5. It was so cute and it made my heart so happy so I'm thinking five because I just had such a great time reading it. But I'll talk about more in my wrap up at the end of the week but next I think I'm gonna read this book just so I can get another book done just for fun and then I think I'm gonna read one or two of the, sh the novellas from here and then I'll probably pick up another one of my contemporaries on my TBR because I'm in a contemporary mood. I'll talk to you later. Hello. 
mother. It is later on. I finished my second book of the readathon. It took me a full 10 minutes to read. That's how it works. The count. I finished this. It was actually 54 pages. Every other page was a picture. So it read really quickly. And also the text is huge. And there's like barely any on each page. That took me 10 minutes to read. This completed the challenge of reading a book with green on the cover. I'm giving it three stars maybe. I don't know. It's really hard to write because it's not really like a proper thing. It's a coffee table book. I think tonight I'm going to read the first novella from The Assassin's Blade, but I'll update you later on. Hello, good morning. Welcome to day three of Book Chewathon. I read the prologue of Alex and Eliza, but it wasn't grabbing me right away. So I was like, okay. I was like, instead I'm going to read the first story of The Assassin's Blade. And I read about five pages and then it was dinner time. And then I watched two movies with my mom. Whoops. I watched um, While You Were Sleeping, which was the first time I'd ever seen that movie, which is a 90s rom-com with Sandra Bullock. And that was good. And then I also watched Princess Diaries 2 because we watched the trailer for it for some reason. And then mom was like, okay, let's just watch it. So yeah, I watched two movies last night instead of reading. But yesterday I managed to read 323 pages, which is not bad. And I've read 148 pages on the first day, which means my total so far is 471 pages for the week. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm gonna get some reading done. So yeah. I will talk to you later. Hello, good afternoon. It's much later. I've done barely any reading today, which is just terrible because I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I need to get all of my reading done by like tomorrow. Earlier, I did read the first story out of this, which was 81 pages. The next novella is only 40 pages. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read that. Then I'm going to do my yoga for today. And then I'm going to switch to reading Alex and Eliza. And if I'm not like anywhere near finishing one of these books today, then I'm going to pick up this book, which is really short. I will talk to you later. So I'm back with more updates. So since I last spoke to you, I have now read the second story from The Assassin's Blade, which is The Assassin and the Healer. I really like this story. So now I've read like 121 pages. Anyway, and I've also read the first 33 pages of Alex and Eliza. I'm enjoying it so far, but the writing style is a tiny bit slow. But I also have to do yoga. So I think I'm either going to do yoga first and then read this or do read this first and then do yoga. But it's literally like 95 pages. So if I read this, then I will complete three books this week so far. If not, I'll read this later before I go to bed because like I just I want to read three books. I want to read like a book a day but ideally I'd get further into both of these so that I can finish off at least one of them tomorrow. I will update you later on but I'm going to yoga now I think actually I feel like doing yoga so I'll talk to you later. Hello good morning it is day four of the booktubeathon. Today is the last day that I don't have to work so I need to get a shit ton of reading done today but yes tomorrow I'm working 8 45 till 4 so that means I've got like from 4 onwards to read and then on Saturday I'm working 11 till 4 I think. Today is my last day to read fully but I also have to film my July wrap up today because it's supposed to go up tomorrow but it should only take me like not too long to film but then I have to edit it too but I could edit it tomorrow when I get home from work but if I do that then I'm not gonna get any reading done tomorrow so I don't know. But anyway enough to talk about what's happening in the future. Time to talk about what happened yesterday. Yesterday I said I wasn't sure what I was gonna continue what I'm doing and I was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna read this or not but I did read this. I literally as soon as I stopped filming that I was like actually I just feel like reading this. So I read it. I'm also giving this one three out of five stars. It was okay but this completed the challenge of reading a book whilst wearing the same hat the whole time. Also though yesterday I read the first two stories from this. So I read 121 pages and I was gonna read more of this later on in the evening but I didn't so I only read 33 pages of Alex and Eliza so I'm hoping to get a big chunk of this done today and possibly read another one of the stories after this so I read 250 pages yesterday in total which is such a nice number it's kind of actually why I didn't read more of Alex and Eliza because I was like if I stop now I am exactly at 250 pages I'm gonna go I'll talk to you later. Hello there. It is much later on on day four. Today I filmed some videos and then I decided to sit outside and read for a while because um, it was shady outside. It's quite warm today. Anyway, I managed to get to page 163 so far of this. The night is still young, but I do have work tomorrow. So I don't know. I'm aiming to get to page like 200. So if I can do that tonight, that would be great. But I would ideally like to get further, but maybe like 250. That would be good. I think mom wants to watch a movie. So I'm, I'm gonna not get much reading done today. Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna go. Hello there. It is day five of the Booktubeathon. I'm so sweaty. I'm sorry, but like, it's like 35 degrees outside. I have to wear all black. Well, I have to wear a black t-shirt and jeans to work. So I am hot because I just work was so hot and like home is hot. Oh. <sighs> I'm hot, essentially. Yesterday, I read 163 pages of Alex and Eliza, so I'm now on page 196. I wanted to read more than that, but I just didn't get to it, so it's fine. And I'm not sure how much I'm gonna read today because I have to spend time with my mom because she's going on holiday, so I won't see her for a little while. I'm about to go to the supermarket because I have to 
think about what meals I'm going to cook while my mom is away, and I'll update you later, hopefully with some reading. Hello, good morning. It is day six of the booktube with Lon. I'm stressed. I am not going to get all the reading done this week. Last night, I had to spend time with my mom because she's going away today, so I didn't read very much. I ended up reading like 40 pages of Alex and Eliza, and I've been reading it so far this morning. I'm gonna have to stop soon and get ready for work, then I might be able to read some after I get ready. I'm not sure. But yeah, I have less than 100 pages left of this, so my plan for today is when I get home, I'm gonna finish this, and then I think what I'm gonna do is try and finish this, or maybe read to like at least one more story in it, and then I think I'm gonna try and make a start on Every Day by David Levithan, but for now I'm gonna go and get ready for work, and then I will try and read more of this later. That is all that I have for now, so I'll talk to you later. Hello, good afternoon. It's day six. I finished work about five minutes late today because I was being helpful. Because essentially the two ladies left were cleaning and I was like serving customers and we're still open for another hour after four. But um, yeah, so I was like, I decided to clear a table and stuff and then this table came in wanted to pay. Not important, basically I finished a couple minutes late and then I went to Starbs because I am absolutely starving. Look, it's Mildred. I'm absolutely starving. This is the worst shift. I worked 11 till four, so there's like no time, and I had no break, so there's no time for a lunch at any point. So I had a late breakfast, but it clearly wasn't big enough, because about 1.30, I started getting really hungry. Anyway, so I got myself a Starbucks. Also, props to me, they had a cinnamon swirl, and I really wanted it, but they're not vegan, so I was like, I can't eat that. I was like this close to buying it, but I was like, no, I can't eat that, so I'm not gonna buy it. But now I think I might make cinnamon rolls, because I want them so badly. But yeah, it's too late to have lunch now. Now, but I am going to have I think a pita with some hummus because my brother made hummus yesterday So I think I'm gonna have that and I might make some rolls just for funsies I have less than 100 pages of Alex and Eliza left So I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna read like maybe two of the short stories from uh, the Assassin's Blade They're both like 100 pages, but I think I can do that I'm not gonna read seven books because that's just not gonna happen But I am gonna try and read six books So I still have like two like halves of the book left and then one whole book and I'm like uh So I need to go and stop rambling. And I probably shouldn't make cinnamon rolls. I don't have time, but I want to Oh, conflicted. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. Hello, it is later on. It's currently 8 p.m. I did my yoga. I also made dinner and stuff and ate it, but also I did decide in the end to make my cinnamon rolls because I was like, oh, when the yeast is like activating, I can read. And when they're in the oven or when they're proving for like an hour, I can read. So that's what I did. And I managed to finish Alex and Eliza by Melissa La Cruz. I finished this probably like an hour ago, but uh, I was eating dinner and stuff. And I'm gonna end up doing this a 3.75. I think the reason why I enjoyed it was just because I'm Hamilton trash, but I actually don't, it was actually kind of boring at times. And I think the only reason why I wasn't totally bored and like the reason I didn't DNF it was because it's Hamilton and I love Eliza and Hamilton. So yeah. It was good, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you love Hamilton because you won't enjoy it if you don't like Hamilton. But that didn't count towards any challenges apart from read some books, which is not likely to happen at all. But yeah, I'm currently waiting for my cinnamon rolls to cook. They're in the oven now. I also need to have a shower. But I think what I'm gonna do is possibly start every day so then I'm part of the way into this and then I'm already part of the way into the Assassin's Blade. So I might read another story, I don't know, but I definitely think I'm gonna start this because contemporaries are normally easy to read at the end of a readathon. So I think I'm gonna start this and then if I have like time later on, then I will read another short story of this. I will talk to you a bit later on. Hello there, it is day seven of the book she was on. I come to you whilst I'm doing other things because I'm running late as per the usual. Anyway, um, last night I ended up only reading about 60 pages of every day. I never left then because I was finding it to be quite boring. The first like three chapters, which are what I read, were quite boring. A is currently just pining after this girl who they can't have because um, A changes bodies every day and this girl has a boyfriend. But I think tonight I'm gonna try and read some more of The Assassin's Blade because I really do want to get that done. I really want to watch third class. But now I have to go to work for till eight from 8.45 till 5.30 so pray for me because this is a long day. I've never worked this long a day at this job. I just got home from work like half an hour ago. It was rough. It was such a long day. It was like nine hours long. I helped open and I helped close. It was just a disaster. I got home. I 
have started making dinner-ish. There's like something that needs to soak for a little bit and then I can make dinner. Anyway, and I just did yoga whilst I'm waiting for it to all soak. But yes, I what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna put on a face mask and I'm gonna read and it's gonna be so chill. It's gonna be so nice. But I realized something. I don't know if this kind of is like cheating, but it's not really in my mind. But I've actually already completed six of the challenges because Alex and Eliza I could technically count that as to reading a book and then consuming the adaptation because there's obviously a musical, Hamilton the Musical. I can listen to the soundtrack of that, or at least some of the soundtrack because it only follows Alex and Liza's like beginning of the relationship. So I can listen to a couple of the songs from the Hamilton soundtrack and then technically I've read the book and consumed the adaptation. The challenge technically is to read the book, then watch the book or TV or whatever it is, adaptation, but I can't do that. But I'm gonna listen to the adaptation and then that counts. I'm gonna listen to some of the Hamilton soundtrack whilst I make dinner just because I'm not really feeling every day right now and I don't want to push myself to read it because then I might get myself into a reading slump which would not be cool so instead i'm gonna listen to hamilton while i make dinner and then later on i'm gonna read some more of the assassin's blade and hopefully finish this and then i will finish five books during the readathon i would have loved to finish more but it's just unrealistic with my work schedule this week anyway i'm gonna go and start making dinner so and listening to hamilton so i'll talk to you later Hello there, it is the day after the Booktubeathon has ended. I know that this vlog is already super long, so I'm just gonna make this really short, but I just wanna wrap up everything. And then I'm gonna do a separate wrap up where I talk about more depth of my thoughts and everything. So here I'm just gonna mention what books I read, just in case you forgot, cause you know, this vlog is long. And then which challenges they all completed and my rating, so. Let's go. So the first book that I finished was Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. This completed three of the challenges, which were to let a coin toss decide your first read, to read a book with a beautiful spine, because I really like this spine. It's beautiful in my opinion. And also to read a book about something that you want to do because our main character moves to California. So yes, I gave this book a five out of five stars. It was adorable and I will talk about it in my wrap up. The next book that I finished during the readathon was How It Works, The Cat. This book completed the challenge of reading a book with green on the cover because the cat's eyes are green. And I gave this a three out of five stars. The the next book that I read after that was The Mills and Boone Modern Girl's Guide to Happy Hour by Ada Adverse and this completed the challenge of reading a book whilst wearing the same hat the whole time. I did not wear a hat because I don't own a hat but the people on the cover are wearing hats so I counted that. It's kind of cheating but you know what whatevs. And I also give this 3 out of 5 stars. The last book that I completed during the week was Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. And this book completed the challenge of reading a book and then listening to the adaptation. It's kind of cheating but I just wasn't going to finish reading every day and I figured that this does actually complete that challenge because although this book was actually inspired by the musical and the musical didn't come after this book, I still thought it would count as an adaptation because it's an adaptation of Hamilton's life. So I feel like it makes sense in a way, so I'm counting it as completing that challenge. So that completes the sixth challenge of the readathon, and the only one I didn't complete was to read seven books, which is a shame, but oh well. I ended up giving this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars. However, that was not all that I read, as you probably know because you watched the rest of the vlog. I also started reading Every Day by David Levithan. I read the first 59 pages of this. I'm planning on reaching page 100, and then if I'm still not really enjoying it, then I'm going to DNF it because I just don't have time for that. But if I do start to get into it, then I will read it probably during the month of August, I don't know. I also read the first 140 pages of The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, which were the first two novellas and like 20 pages of the next novella. During the week, I managed to read 1,127 pages, which is super cool. I'm quite happy with that. I wanted to reach 1,500, but you know, I was only like under 400 pages short. That is all for this week. So thank you so much for joining me if you're even still here. I hope you guys had a great week. So please let me know your progress down below. As I said, I will have a wrap up up very soon for you, but I've got to go. I'm meeting a friend quite soon. So yes, but I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.